Hey guys, so in today's video, we are going to be discussing how to correctly pronounce 10 American brands. So all the brands are huge popular companies that I'm sure you've heard of before, and they were all founded in the United States. Now I'm not 100% sure if they're all still based in the United States, but as far as I know, they are. So to all my subscribers, welcome back you guys, and if you are new here, Hi, my name is Victoria, and I post all about American English. So if you are interested in learning more about intonation, pronunciation, rhythm, linking, all the topics that fall under that American English umbrella, then please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so that YouTube will let you know when I post new content. So let's get to it, you guys. Number one, we have Google. Google. Now, even though we hear this one so, so often, I actually hear this one mispronounced a lot of the time. So I often don't hear that OO vowel on the first syllable. And the dark L, I mean, that's a little bit nuanced, but I often don't hear that part either. So it's Google, Google. He works for Google. Number two, we have Apple. Apple. So again, there's a dark L at the end of this word, which is very, very particular. But also I want you to pay attention to the tension in the first vowel. So it is not a pure a uh sound. I'm not saying apple. I'm saying a. Ah, apple. Apple. Next up, number three, Amazon. Amazon. Now this one is trickier than it looks. So it is not Amazon, Amazon with three pure vowels. They're actually three different sounds. So the first one I'm saying am, am. So that's how most speakers in North America will say that vowel with a little bit of nasality on that a ah sound. So we have am and then we have a. So then we have a schwa vowel and then the final vowel is ah. So we have Amazon, Amazon. Another really important part of this word is that the stress, of course, falls on which syllable? The first, Amazon. Next up, number four, we have uh, Walmart, Walmart. Now, if you've ever been to the States, I'm sure you've seen a Walmart somewhere, unless you're perhaps in a huge metropolitan area like Manhattan where they simply wouldn't have room for a Walmart. So this one has two syllables and the first syllable is wall. So make sure you're not saying an a uh, because it's not wall, it's all. And then the second syllable has a complex R vowel for the R sound in mart. Walmart, Walmart. Also keep in mind that the strongest syllable is of course the first. Our next word is McDonald's. McDonald's. Three syllables in this word and which one is the strongest stress? McDonald's. So it is of course the second. The other two syllables are in fact being reduced to schwa. So we're saying muk muk. Then we have don with our vowel ah, which is that low back vowel. And then the final syllable is nulls, nulls. So a schwa going right into that dark L. McDonald's. Next up we have Facebook, Facebook. Two syllables, the strongest syllable is the first. And that's not usually the part that people have difficulty with. It's that lax vowel in book, book. So really, really often I hear this with a pure U vowel, book, but it has to be lax, book, Facebook, Facebook. So next up we have Nike, Nike. 
Now this one actually, I was a bit surprised to, to read that this was a company that was founded in the US simply based on the pronunciation of this word. So if you look at other words that are spelt really similarly, so we have Nike, of course it's spelt N-I-K-E. So if we looked at B-I-K-E or H-I-K-E, we have bike or hike or the fish, a pike. But for Nike, we add a whole extra syllable. So we're not saying Nike, we're saying Nike, Nike. So this one is just an anomaly compared to other similar words. Next up we have Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. Now this is one that a lot of my clients have trouble with and I think it's because Coca-Cola is something that I could guess that we pretty much say in most languages of the world, but with that particular language's phonology. So most of my clients tend to say Coca-Cola with even stress and with pure vowels. So it sounds like Coca-Cola, but in fact, listen real carefully, Coca-Cola. First tell me, what is my strongest syllable? Is the third, right? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. And then let's actually listen to the vowels that we're making. So the first vowel is O. The second vowel is a schwa, a coca, coca. And then in the second part of the word, we have coal. So it's an O going right into a dark L. And then our final syllable is a schwa, la, Coca-Cola very different sounding than Coca-Cola. Our next word is Starbucks, Starbucks. So two syllables and they're both semi-tricky vowels. So the first vowel is R, R. So it's a complex R colored vowel. And so make sure you're not saying a, it's not ar, it's a, r. And then that second vowel is a, uh, as in up. So Starbucks, Starbucks. And our final brand name is Disney, Disney. Now this one's tricky for a few reasons, even though it's only two syllables. The first is that initial vowel. It's a lax i sound, and many people say it as more of a clean e sound. The next tricky thing is that letter S. So in English, the letter S can either be produced as a S or a Z. And there's some like vague rules, but to be honest, they're not super effective. So you just have to listen and pay attention to each word. So in this particular word, Disney, we're actually making a voiced Z sound, even though it looks misleadingly like an S, like a S sound. So we have diz as our first syllable. And the second syllable is inherently a little bit tricky as well. So it kind of looks like it should be pronounced nay, but we don't say a, we say e. So it's not Disney, it's Disney, Disney. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I do hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.